When creating a YouTube channel, there are some settings that you need to know about. So I wanted to make this video to show you a very step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a YouTube channel correctly so you could be successful down the road. Some of these settings are a little bit hidden and the first time I created my channel, I set a few things up incorrectly and it took me a long time to figure out how to fix it. So I created a very simple seven step process here to show you exactly what settings and how to set up a YouTube channel completely from scratch. And at the end of the video, I want to give you two free resources that will show you exactly how I got a hundred million views plus on this channel. And I've monetized four channels now using the same technique and tools. And I will also put a ton of resources in the description. So everything I talk about, and if you want to dive deeper, like making your profile picture, banners, things like that, you will have some resources all in one place. Let's jump in. First, go to youtube.com and click signed in. If you already press signed in, click up here and sign out of your accounts because I want to show you something from the signing page. Let me press this. In order to create a YouTube channel, first you need a YouTube account. And in order to have a YouTube account, you need a Google account. Google is the company that owns YouTube. So they're all in one basically. If you already have a Gmail, if you use Google Docs, for example, or if you already have a YouTube account, you've already done this first step. So your Gmail or phone number could go here and then you could press next. If you've never made a Google or YouTube account, not channel, account and channel are different. You could press create an account here and then you could set up your Google account. You could even set this up if you already have one, if you want your channel to be separate from your personal account. And if you set this up for yourself, if you're just making a YouTube channel for yourself or your child, you could choose these two. In my case, I want to run one that will turn into a business. So I'm going to choose this. The options after this are kind of the same, but it just makes it easier if you're going to have other people jump into your account for you later. It's going to ask for your first name and last name. Now these have nothing to do with your channel name that will happen later. And it will ask for your email. You could also use a Gmail here instead to create a Gmail account all in one place. Put a very secure eight or more character password here confirm it and then press next. Again, if you already have a Google account, which is also a YouTube account, you could go ahead and sign in from this page instead. I'll do that in this case. Now, once you sign into your existing or new YouTube channel, if you press this profile picture up here, it's going to allow you to create a channel now that you have an account. So I'm going to press create a channel from this page. Now, whatever you decide for your channel name, you would put that here. And you could upload a profile picture, but I'll do this on the next step. But I usually consider this step two, creating a channel name, which you could always change. So don't worry too much about that on here because we could change it on the next page. But go ahead and press create. And once you create your channel, it's going to just bring you right into your channel name here under the home page. And from here, you could upload your videos, but there are some very important settings that most people miss here. So let me walk you step by step on what to do at this point now that you have a YouTube channel. What you want to do is you want to press your profile picture right up here again and you want to go into YouTube Studio. This is YouTube Creator Studio and this is your channel's dashboard. This is basically all the information that you're going to have about your channel that other people can see. This is the back end of your channel. You're going to do a lot of different things here. The first thing I want you to do for step three is go down here and click the settings tab right here. Now under the settings, there is one thing you want to change right away. Go to channel right here and click on this third tab here. Okay. And by default, you're not going to have some of these available to you until you verify your accounts. So if you look over here, for example, right now you could upload to YouTube, but you cannot upload anything that's over 15 minutes long. You can live stream. You especially, this is very important, you cannot use custom thumbnails. Basically, the thumbnails that you'll see on YouTube, a lot of people picked a photo to use as a custom thumbnail, not just what YouTube decides your thumbnail should be. This is probably the best way to grow on YouTube by having good custom thumbnails. So that's why this is step three, because you need to verify your YouTube channel this way and go ahead and press that right here. And it's going to ask for your country and phone number and it will send you a code. If you don't do this, you won't have the options that I just showed you 
under this page and you'll never have those until you verify your account. Now, once you verify your account, let's jump into step four. Step four is channel customization. Now, this is a very critical step because if you don't set up your channel the right way, when people view your content, they may not really see a reason to subscribe. So let me show you the different channel customizations. To get to channel customizations here, I'm in the same page as before. I'm just gonna go right here to customization tab on this page. And for this step, let's just focus on layout. Basically, right here, you're going to at some point want to create a channel trailer. This is where you could sit down and tell someone that is new to your channel why they should subscribe to your channel. That becomes your channel trailer. Now, this is not mandatory, but it does help to get more subscribers. You could also set a video as a featured video for returning subscribers. I'm gonna skip this obviously since we haven't uploaded any videos, but I do want you to add a section over here. So by default, this featured section is what will show on your YouTube channel. I'll show you here on one of my channels. So as you could see, I put all my recent uploads here on this section and I put popular uploads as a banner here on this section. So any videos that has millions of views on my channel shows up here under the popular section. And some of my more popular content like Instagram and YouTube tutorials, they will show up over here as well. So I put these there using that channel customization. So let me go back here. As you could see, upload is already there. So I like to usually bring upload right to the top. If you're gonna make short videos, those are videos that are for YouTube short, for example, anything under a minute, you could go ahead and leave this. I'm gonna remove it since I don't have shorts. I'm gonna add a section here and you could put your popular videos. Now, none of this matters yet, but once you set this up and upload videos, everything is gonna look nice and organized. So I recommend you do the same thing here. And when you're happy, just go ahead and press publish. Now you could always come back to the layout page and move things around, which I recommend once you have about five to six videos. Step five is all about branding. Go to the branding page. And before you tell anybody about your YouTube channel, I recommend you create a nice profile picture here so you could upload that. Now this is just a simple JPEG or PNG that you could create. Let me show you how I create mine. A lot of times I use this platform called Placeit and I'll put a link in the description below this video right under this step. But all you have to do here is type in your channel name. This is one of my channel's names. And then you would pick a category here and then you just press create and it creates ton of different logos and profile pictures here for you. It's really that simple. So you could browse all these and then when you want one, you could just pay for that one and it's very inexpensive here. So you could just choose them. They are also fully customizable. So if you click on one and you don't like the color or whatever the font is, you could select that and you could change whatever you want here. And when you're happy, you could go ahead and download it to your computer. Once you download it, you just have to press upload here and that becomes your profile picture. And then you could move into your banner image. Here's a banner image, for example. So you could create banner images. I'll show you how I create mine. One of the easiest platforms to use for that is called Canva. So you could look up YouTube banner here and YouTube channel art is the actual name for it. You could go ahead and select that and it will show you ton of different options over here. You could go ahead and browse, click on any of them here like this and then type in your own and they already have the size set up for you. So again, with Canva, you could press download. Then you would come back here and upload it. If you were creating your own from scratch using things like Photoshop, for example, you could type in this number here for your banner image size. But with Canva, you don't have to know that. You could also add a watermark that shows up on the corner of your videos as well. Let's go to step six. Again, under channel customization, basic info here, there's a little description section where you tell people what your channel is all about. This will help you get found in search and it will help you turn viewers into subscribers. You definitely wanna add something here. You also could add links here to your other social media profiles if you want or to your website. You could add up to five different links here on your YouTube channel. And if you want people to contact you for any reason, you could go ahead and add an email on the very bottom of this page. But don't rush this basic info. This is very critical. A lot of people learn about your channel from this box over here. If you wanted to share your channel with someone, you could just click copy right here and it will copy this link that you could send to anybody else. And if you go to the monetization tab here, 
This will show you what is required for you to get paid by making videos for YouTube. And this requires a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of public watch time. I have other videos describing what these mean, but this is a great page to come and see how far you are if you're trying to monetize and make money with your YouTube channel. Once everything is set up, go back to dashboard and then you could upload your first video right from this page or you could go to create right on top and upload your video from here. Now, let me show you two free resources to help you if you're trying to get more views for your YouTube channel and if you're really trying to grow and monetize this channel. The first one is a plugin called TubeBuddy. Once you install it, it's basically a plugin for your Chrome browser, for example. You could click it and what I do with this is I use Keyword Explorer a lot of times to figure out what videos are trending. So if I could make something similar or I could actually search for videos I want to make and press explore and see all kinds of different ways I could title my video or make videos about the similar content. This is very useful. And if a video is very hard to get found, it's going to tell me that with the score. So this video I'm not going to make because the score is actually pretty bad. So I could click on another topic here. I'll select this one and see if that improves my score. And this is excellent, right? So I just came up with a similar title, but something that I could actually get found based on my channel's type of content. So you could get the TubeBuddy plugin completely for free. They do have a paid upgrade, but you don't need it for a while. So I recommend at least get the free version to figure out things like keywords that I cover in all kinds of different videos as well. And the last resource I have is a free training, a free video training I put together that shows you exactly how I got a hundred million views on this YouTube channel. And I monetized four YouTube channels in total using the same technique. Again, that's one of the links in the description. You could just sign up and watch the free training. I do also have a full course that I mentioned only in that video at the end of the video, the training is complete and it has nothing to do with the course, but the discount for that course is within that training at the end if you want to learn a little bit more about that there. But I hope all these resources were useful to you. I just wanted to create a video that has everything in the description of it with all the different resources so you don't have to watch a whole bunch of videos to figure out what to do. This shows you step by step in seven simple steps and with all kinds of free tutorials in the description. Thanks so much for all your time. Best of luck with YouTube and I'll see you next time.